Hello friends in this video we are going to learn how to make multiple select drop down list with check boxes by using bootstrap multi select plugin. By using this plugin we can create drop down list with multiple select option by using check boxes. Suppose you have seen in many web application we want to give rights to select multiple option at a time. So we can use checkbox for give rights to select multiple option, but it will cover more space on web page. So we can use drop down list box with attribute multiple, so use can select multiple option at time, but in multiple drop down we have use cannot understand regarding selection of multiple option. So lastly we have used this bootstrap multiple select plugin which makes stylish drop down list with multiple select option by using checkbox. So user can also understand regarding he can select multiple option from drop down list box. So in this video we have make discussion on how to use bootstrap multiple select plugin in our PHP web application. This is our testing database and under this we have one like table with two table column like it and framework. In this table we will insert value of multi select drop down list box by using Ajax. This is our index page on this page we have include jqui javascript library link and bootstrap framework javascript and style sheet link. We have also include two more link for bootstrap multi select plugin. By using this link we use this plugin on this page. After this we have write HTML form tag with attribute method is equal to post and it is equal to framework form. Under this form we will create multi select drop down list box. Under this form we have write select tag with attribute it is equal to framework name is equal to framework and in this tag we have add one more attribute multiple. By using this attribute we can select multiple option. Under this select box we have defined different option with framework name like Codeigniter, Cake PHP, Laravel, UE, Send, Symphony, Falcon, Slim. Form submit form data we have defined one submit button. So here we have write input tag with attribute type is equal to submit, name is equal to submit and value also is equal to submit. So when we have click on this button form data will be submitted. Now we want to call bootstrap multi select plugin on select box with it framework. We have go to jqui code and here we have write dollar with select box id framework with multi select method. By using this method we can call bootstrap multiple select plugin. Under this method we have write first option non-selected text set to select framework. This option will display this text when no option is selected. In second option we have write enable filtering set to true. This option will include search text box into multi-select drop down list box. But it is not case sensitive. So for make case sensitive search we have write third option like enable case insensitive filtering set to true. By using this option we can enable case insensitive search under search text box. And last option we have write button width set to 400 pixel. This option will set the button width to 400 pixel. There are many option available into this plugin. You can find complete documentation from this page. Now we have check output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been loaded then you can see one drop down list box and one submit button. 
When we have click on drop down list box we can see framework list with checkbox select option and search text box for filter option. So we have successfully called bootstrap multi select plugin. Here we can select multiple framework at a same time. Now we want to insert value of multiple select framework into table by using Ajax with PHP. So we have go to index page jqe code and here we have write dollar with form id framework form with on method and under this method we have write submit event with function with event argument. So when form has been submitted this code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will stop submitting form data. After this we have write form data variable is equal to dollar this with serialize method. This method will convert form data into URL encode string. Now we have write Ajax method and under this method we have write first option URL set to insert dot PHP page. Here we have send request to insert dot PHP page. In second option we have write method set to post. Here we have use post method for send form data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have store form data into form data variable. So here we have write form data variable. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and this function received data from server. So when request has been completed now we want to reset multi select drop down value. So we have write dollar with selected framework with option selected with each method and under this method we have write function. So by using this each method we can reset all option of select box. So under this we have write dollar with this selector with prop method and under this method we have write first argument selected and in second argument we have writ false. This code will remove selected attribute from all option one by one. After this we have write dollar with select box id framework with multi select method and under this method we have write refresh option. This will refresh multi select box and remove selected option and reset multi select drop down list box. Last we want to display alert message on web page regarding data inserted. So here we have write alert and under this we have write data. Now we have moved to write PHP code under insert.php page and on this page we have write dollar connect variable is equal to mysql connect function with for argument like host name set to local host, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post framework variable. This condition will check value of this variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code under this we have write dollar framework variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store string value of dollar post framework variable which is in array format. Below this we have write for each loop with dollar post framework variable as dollar row variable. By using for each loop we can access the array value of dollar post framework variable. Under this loop we have write dollar framework variable and in this variable we have append dollar row variable with comma and space. So under this loop we have convert array value to string and store into dollar framework variable. Now we want to remove last two character from the value of dollar row variable. So we have write dollar framework variable is equal to substring function with three argument. 
In first argument we have write dollar framework variable. In second argument we have start with zero and in length argument we have write minus two. This code will remove last two character from string. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into like table with table column framework with values dollar framework variable. This query will insert data into like table. Then after we want to execute this query so we have write if statement and under condition we have write mysql query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. If this function successfully execute query then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with message like data inserted. This message will be display to user browser. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you have already seen select box with multi select feature by using checkbox. And in this multiple select drop down list box we can also seen search box also. So we can easily filter option by entering query into this search box. Now we have select multiple option from this drop down list box. So here we have select code igniter. Laravel and Cake PHP framework and click on submit button. After clicking on submit button we have received data inserted message on web page. That means our data has been inserted into table. After inserting data into table multi select drop down select option has been reset and on this we can seen select framework option. Now we have seen data is proper inserted into table or not. So in table we can seen table properly inserted and we can seen here. That means our code is working. So if you have developed any web application and in that application you have give rights to select more than one option at time. Then you should this plugin which is easily integrate with bootstrap framework. And it gives stylist look to your web application. By using this plugin user can select multiple option by selecting check boxes. So in this video we have not only discuss how to use bootstrap multi select plugin but also how to send value of multi select drop down list box to PHP script by using Ajax. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media like Facebook or Twitter. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding future video. And lastly thank for watching this video we will meet in next video. So keep watching our video tutorial.